Hello world, Patricia O'Connor and Frida Reba Dorsey here. It is Friday night, Friday, Friday, Friday night. And we are at Frida's place, both piled up on the couch. Like we don't have a whole lot going on. Uh, and what you see before you is uh, my coastal. Oh yeah, now we're moving camera. That was Frida. Frida's kicking camera today. Actually, I should have known better than that. I got one leg of this tripod propped up on the um, propped up on the couch, and Frida's walking around on the couch, which I should have known was going to make the whole thing shake. Anyway, what we're looking at is this coastal oak. Why? Why, Pat? Why? Because a couple of weeks ago, not not even a month ago, I pruned this tree back i mean some kind of some kind of severe so we've got a dog here there there's our dog going to town on her dog tree anyway now uh there's our little hole that we have there our little solid feature but in the meantime uh in the week since we have done that tree i cut it back for camera uh about what i had decided before before uh, pre-show, what I was going to do, I cut it back to that, and then once I had cut it back to that, while looking at it, kind of like I am now, except after the show, I went, you know, I'm a little closer to having everything off of that tree that would make for a clean break, a clean start over. Before that, I was looking at a lot of a lot of empty spaces on the trees that I was going to need to uh, uh, account for. And so for that reason, we were not looking to always remove everything. Some of the some of the no-no branches, the things that you wouldn't normally let slide, I'm like, right now we're filling gaps and holes where uh, limbs need to be, and we're gonna let it slide. Well, I said that last year, uh, starting spring, and then again, I said that again in the fall. Look at what I had left, and I went, some of those are back branches, some of those are going straight up, straight down, straight back, but um, right now we need to fill a lot of gaps. So I'm gonna grade everything on a curve. And I was willing to do that until this past show. I went in there and whenever I cut everything back to what was going to be this year's choices, I looked at what was left in the way of in the way of undesirable branches and i'm going there's not but maybe a half a dozen and if i clip those back now just go ahead and do it now i won't have to remember uh when all is said and done what was in there we can just start over from fresh so i did that it did look a little bit more pruned than what i uh than when i left off on the show but then having said that uh, we kicked the camera just in. But then having said that, we also did a full did a full show of the tree as it stood um, in our follow-up program, which I showed you this, I showed you this baby um, on the balcony as, as we had finished it. And since then, uh, we had increased the food a little bit. And along with that, um, all of this growth, I'm peeling, I'm pinching all this, all this new growth off down here. I don't mind it, uh, but it is making the bottom a little fat without making it fat all the way at the bottom. We need, we need to be fatter down here. I don't need to um, create reverse taper. Okay, so that will go that that can go and that's called just pinching it off or i've also heard this referred to as rubbing it off the foliage itself is so at this point still so light that um against the sandpaper texture of the rough bark you could just give it one of those and that would basically cause it to disappear this is going to be our new bottom branch on this side of the tree and this is going to be our new bottom branch on the left side of the tree that has also got a little bit of prune back but i think you should be able to see 
that, uh, and that's why I brought it in. I wanted to show off a little. Uh, I wanted to show off how this guy has responded to our fairly heavy prune just a few short weeks ago. Hi there, little spider. We won't be doing anything that'll hurt you tonight. You can see a lot of this is already starting. And um, that's great. That's just awesome. And this is looking at the back. And I'm just going to bring it on around. I'll show you the front again. But I thought this would be a good opportunity uh, to bring this guy in under the light. Clean up a little bit down here around the base like I wanted to do. But then also to give you guys a good chance to look and just see how our tree has responded uh, after um, after our cutback. I'm pretty happy with that. Tomorrow, tomorrow on the bonsai balcony during the day, we will be focusing on our other oak. We will um, bring in our cork bark. It is not as uh, grown out as much as this one has it's kind of slowed down a little bit but uh we have a little bit of prune back we can do to it also so that'll be kind of cool that'll be kind of cool all right that wasn't a long show this was kind of a really short spot 